Welcome back to Willie Farms. Today we are replacing the chicken door on the chicken coop. Come along. All right, so we're going to replace that chicken coop door. And I'm going to try to reuse this old hinge. I'm not sure I can. If not, I'll have to find another one laying around somewhere. And now it's frozen up. Hmm. I don't know. Let me break it loose here. Of time not to have a hammer. Okay. That may have been in the dirt too long. Now we got to find another hinge. All right, so I did find a couple of hinges. Probably have to lubricate them a little bit, but that will work. This was my old door, and it dropped down and was a uh, walkway up and a door at the same time. But that is seen its best days and its days are over now so time for a new door so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some of this one by material that i got from this pallet and i'm going to build me a little door like this maybe even a cross buck door we'll try that all right so we need it 17 inches Seventeen inches. That's what we're looking for. We're going to go ahead and make it seventeen and a half. Because if it runs over a little bit, it's not going to make any difference at all. Y'all didn't remind me to put my safety glasses on. What's the matter with y'all? Come on. Seventeen and a half. All right, I heard you. Put them on. Thank y'all. two pieces and we're going to need approximately three six four pieces of that so we're going to have to get another board off here now, let's work the nails out of that thing Nails that's coming out of the board and the nail catcher. Let's get the final two nails out. Nice fall day out here, I'm telling you. It's going to get a little warm today. That's why I've got my sweatband on, though. So, 
make a little room here. Too long. Oh, I cut that one short. I'll have to recut one. Good thing the wood was free. Still don't want to waste it though. Uh, I'll use that on the cross member somewhere. That is going to be my door right there. We're going to put a piece across top, piece across the bottom, and a cross piece. Make that a cross buck door. <coughs> and hold everything together. Right there. We'll go across the top. And all right, we're going to put those there. I'll put a cross member here. But first, we're going to fasten this together. That is basically going to be the outside of our door. Now we've got to put our cross piece in here. From outside to outside, we've got to have 16 and a half inches. So we're going to start at 17 inches. We'll get the corners lined up. Now we've got enough line here to make that angle. All right, let's see how we did. Look at that. That is going to work just fine. Make sure all the boards are supported. All right. There's our door. Now, we're going to, have to put hinges on it. That's a fairly heavy door. We may use both hinges on that. If we do it that way, we're going to, have to put a block of wood under that. But I think that's where we're going to mount it. You want to keep these hinges straight because if you get them where they're not straight, where they're not running with that board, it's going to bind up. And a mount and open this way, so we're going to have to put something under the bottom of that. So I think what we're going to do is cut two of these boards. That way it will be exactly the same. All right. Got our two boards. We've got our door. Let's go install this. I had these two boards up here to keep the turkeys out. That's going to work. Right. There's one. I'm putting one board down first because that screw is going deeper. If I tried to go through both of those, I'd have to have a much larger screw, which I just don't have handy right now. All right. We want to get just a little space between there, so we're going to use a screw for a spacer on each side. Now, to get it right in the center, that hole in the hinge.
Come on, battery, hold up. One more screw. And I've got that on backwards. That gum. All right, I ain't lying. That bugs me. Use a screw for a spacer. All right, now we got it on the right. That's the way I wanted it to look. Now I got it right. And they're not going to use that to walk up. They're just they just been jumping up in there anyway. So now I've got to find something to fasten it up. I think what we'll do is build out here the same as we did here. And then we can fix this little turn to fasten it back because I don't have any hasp handy. So we'll do that. snug but it still moves now I can push that in turn that down that'll hold now, every now and then we may have tightened that screw up and we will have to paint this it's non-treated and I use non-treated screws non-galvanized screws so there we go all right that job is done and remember count your blessings every day and I believe you will find your blessed far beyond measure I know that I am. Bye.